As lockdown measures eased across the UK, the housing market surged, boosted by pent-up demand during the pandemic. August saw UK house prices reach record highs, rising by 2% on July. But the latest market figures might not be quite as unexpected as first thought. Well, I think we expected it because of the lockdown. Uh, usually in a state agency, you do see seasonal activity because of schooling and holidays and that sort of thing. But this year, because effectively the market was closed for a 12 week period, we were seeing a, uh, the, the surge carry on through what would traditionally be the holiday period. So it, it was actually anticipated that that would be the case. With popular second home destinations for Brits such as Spain and France currently off the cards for so many, a third of us now either own or would consider buying a second home right here in the UK. During lockdown, the message was stay at home. So the home became a really important part of the psychology of, of the UK. It's created this capacity for people to say, well, actually, rather than spend X thousand pounds on a, on a summer holiday, why don't I think about investing it into something that I can use for more than just two weeks a year that is actually part of my long term plan for my family and also part of some sort of pension or investment fund if they're so inclined. When it comes to the economy, figures are pretty glib at the moment, but I guess the housing market is bucking that trend. Should we be slightly more positive, do you think, Ian, than we are being about the economy at the moment? Well, I'm an estate agent, so by definition, an eternal optimist uh, and have been for 30 odd years. It's worth about 7% of GDP. And so I think one of the things that could well happen is that, yes, of course, there is the fear of recession, but it could actually be a self-sustaining position or a self-fulfilling prophecy and actually transact its way out of, of problems.